This tutorial will show you how to add an RSS feed to your Moodle course page. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication and usually entails uh, getting a live feed from another website with news and information that's being dynamically updated from the remote feed. To begin with, I'm going to turn editing on and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom right hand side of my page at the very bottom of the um, list of blocks in my Moodle page, I now have a pop-up menu that says Add a Block. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to scroll down the extensive list of possible blocks you can add. I'm going to choose Remote RSS Feed. And now uh, I have created a new block called Remote News Feed. To configure the news feed, I click on the little editing tool, looks like a wrench, and it says configuring a remote news feed block. And you can see I've got one feed already in here, which happens to be an NPR feed, but I want to go out and look for a new feed uh, for my course page. And so I can click on add edit feeds if I can't find the feed or if I haven't already created it. And now um, I can click on add a new feed to locate um, a new feed that I want to add to my class. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to use right now, so I'm going to open up a new tab in my browser. So I'm going to go Command T, create a new tab, and I'm going to do a search for popular RSS feeds. And this will give me a list of interesting feeds that I might want to look for. I happen to know that this link, Popular RSS Feeds, is a good one to do a search on. And here you can see there's a whole list of um, news feeds, uh, museum sites, WSY, MarketWire, Family Life, Bloomberg, Cool Hunting, um, astrology, all sorts of RSS feeds. Um, I like this one here. Uh, this looks interesting, National Geographic Photo of the Day. And so I'm going to click on that link. And here is, so this is the feed up in the address bar here. This is what I want for the RSS feed. And my browser is telling me that it's got RSS. Um, so this is RSS feed. Now, notice that this feed begins with HTTP. This is important. Um, you don't want a feed that begins with feed. You want the feed that actually says HTTP. Um, and you're going to double click on that. And I'm going to copy that link. And now I'm going to go back to the tab in my Moodle course where I have the feed URL fee, uh, field ready for me to simply paste that um, web link into it. So this is the link to the National Geographic um, RSS feed. I'm going to leave the title blank and I'm going to click Add a New Feed. And now it's created my news feed here. So I simply am going to navigate back to my course page by clicking on the course page uh, in the breadcrumb trail. And finally, I'm going to go back to the remote news feed area because I've added that feed, but I want to make it live now. So I click on the wrench tool one more time. And now I see the National Geographic photo of the day RSS feed, I simply click on that, scroll down, can um, change a few options if I want, but I'm just going to leave it all default. Click Save Changes and turn editing off. And you can see now I have the National Geographic photo of the day RSS feed, and this will update every day courtesy of National Geographic and it'll make a nice addition to my course I can tell you. Uh, I'll click on the first one here and see if it works and there it is. It takes me to 
all the National Geographic photos of the day. So that's how to add an RSS feed in Moodle 2.